I, I just wanted to set the record straight for everybody. Um, this mass gunman did not kill true blood-washed born-again Christians, not Christians according to the Bible. These are Coptic Christians. Um, the Coptic Christians are not blood-washed born-again Christians. Uh, Coptic Christians are part of the Catholic Church. And so to re set the record straight, I wanted to bring this to your, uh, to your attention because God takes better care of his people than this, okay? Yes, there have been people have been persecuted down through the years. God's people have been persecuted. But as you can see here, the Coptic Orthodox Christian uh, is part of the Orthodox Church, and it's connected to Alexander the Patriot uh, of the Holy See of St. Mark. And carries the title of the Coptic Pope. So this has nothing to do with blood-washed born-again Christians and has everything to do with the Catholic Church. The Muslims are not killing um, God's people. Understand that. The real persecution that's coming to the church, the true blood-washed church, hasn't really begun yet, folks. It's, it's going to happen, but God's not going to allow blood-washed Christians to die uh, until we, you know, we see under persecution that this will be during the Great Tribulation where Christians' heads will be cut off. But right now, those that are being persecuted are the Catholic Church that call themselves Christians. They're not Christians. They're Catholic. The word Catholic means universal. So let's not get it uh, twisted folks let's understand that God does take care of his people and he said not one hair of their head shall fall to the ground God is able to keep those that are his amen and keep us safe so to keep the record straight God bless you